you have a fancy camera that you don't know how to use, I would love to help. I've been there before and I know how frustrating of a process it can be to purchase this expensive camera, to flip it on and to not know exactly what to do with those settings that are all over the place. To want to take beautiful pictures of your kids and to feel so frustrated because after all of these things that you keep practicing, nothing seems to be working out right. I'm going to introduce to you the Camera Academy. Now what the Camera Academy is, is 30 video tutorials all about different aspects of photography from beginner to intermediate to advanced. Now what it is, is I'm going to walk you through from the beginner process to intermediate all the way up to advanced. These 30 techniques are something that I feel like are progressive and that you don't want to learn, you don't want to try and teach yourself how to do something that's on the more advanced setting when you're just learning how to do the beginner thing. After you watch the video, you can hop onto our online community and discuss it and share your pictures, and then we'll move on to intermediate, and we'll do it lesson by lesson in the progressive order of how it should be learned so as not to overwhelm you too much. Now, I know that this can be a lot. It's not 30 hours of training. Each lesson is five to 15 minutes long. I'm gonna teach you how to take beautiful pictures of your children that you will treasure for years to come. Hooray! I'm so excited we're here. We're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna use my little friend Pinky here and she's gonna be my assistant because what's really important when you're learning to use your manual settings is to practice with an inanimate object. Okay, see, we just moved a few feet away, probably 10 feet, and you can see how it's just a darker look on her face and my face as well. And you start to see the forehead starts to shadow the under eyes just a little bit and that it's just darker eyes. It's just not the lovely light that we want to see in the eyes. And when we get those up close portraits, we want to see that lovely light. So no raccoon eyes. <laughs> Show them no raccoon eyes. No raccoon eyes. <laughs> but I'm going to slide my shutter speed down to about one over 200. And I'm going to take a test shot. We'll see how that goes. Nice. Ideally, my goal is to get all four kids in the shot. Hey, today we're going to talk about photographing in full sun. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. It's bright. It's hot. A lot of people say that they have frustrating times trying to photograph their kids doing something fun like my kids are doing right now. Um, I wouldn't necessarily plan on doing any portraits in full sun um, until you get a little bit more advanced because that's considered backlighting. But what I'm going to do is teach you the best way to photograph in full sun and just teach you how to get around some of the obstacles. So ideally when you're photographing outside in the full sun, like I said, we're going to keep our ISO really low at 100 and we're going to crank our shutter speed up as high as possible to capture that perfect exposure. But what you really need to think about is the shadows on their faces. If you look here, if I was going to take a, a picture of the two of them standing together smiling, it's not ideal in full sun because we're probably going to get that squint, but sometimes you can't control those elements. What you can control is the direction that they're facing. Okay, let's do it. Let's do a jump one more time. One, two, three, jump. Okay. All right, today our lesson is going to be all about taking posed pictures of kids. So I borrowed some of my favorite young kids because I think that's where it gets a little bit more complicated is when you're photographing young kids and you want to get them to look and smile and do that perfectly posed thing. Can you give me five? Yes. That was a baby that's five. Good. All right, you guys want to stand there on the edge and I'm going to put her right in the middle, okay? I'll do that right here. Yes, not too hard. Just, just lean in a little bit closer to her because we don't want to bug her too much, yes. okay? We'll see if we can get Eve to look at us. Hey, Eve, right here. Everyone say happy. happy. Oh, look at those good smiles. Looks like I did too much of the blacks on that. I want to take that away, and sometimes it's a little... So you can do batch things. This, this one, like I said, was a little bit more of a complicated situation because the light was changing and I was standing in several different places all in a short period of time. Let's play, let's play the whisper game where you're uh... <laughs> Okay, look at that. Look at all that whispering they got going on. All right, one, two. <laughs> Do you have a fancy camera that you don't know how to use? You're a noisy airplane. On end to the Santa. <laughs> 